Hi you guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I am so excited. It's another FabFitFun sale. It's the spring edit sale going on right now, 2019 edit sale. Maybe people are watching this in the future and they'll need to know the date. Anyway, so uh, if you're new to my channel, what I have been doing for a few sales now is I'll record my computer screen and I will talk about the products, what I'm interested in buying and any tips and tricks for the sales. I've been through a few now, so especially if you're new, you might want to stick around and I will uh, let you know what tricks I have up my sleeve and yes I did choose to film with the show me your moo moo robe in the background I thought that was kind of cute I don't know let me know what you think anyway so as I go through the products feel free to comment below clarify disagree or talk to each other uh, yeah below the video in the comment section go ahead and start a conversation and yeah so uh, what else let's get into the video Okay, so here we are in the FabFitFun website. I am going to show you a few tips and tricks first before I get into talking about the products. So if you are seasoned and you kind of know all this stuff, you might want to skip ahead a couple minutes until you see that I'm on the page with all the products. The first tip is that I'm, I'm I would, the first tip, excuse me, is that I recommend checking out the community forum during sales, which is, uh, this is the homepage to FabFitFun, and the community forum is right here under this tab, and so you click there, and you will see that there are all kinds of threads that are going on on the right side. Uh, right now, the top one is Spring to Edit 2019, Your Questions Answered, um, et cetera, et cetera. There are so many, this or that, Edit Sales Spring 2019, and people are really, really going into these forums and actively talking about all the products that are available. And this is why I have learned so much, is because I spend a whole lot of time <laughs> lurking in these forums and reading product reviews. And this is why I do these videos, because I feel like I have done all this research and I want to share it in one condensed video so that I can be helpful, because I know these sales can be somewhat intense and overwhelming. So I highly recommend checking out the community forum. I am following three threads right now. This one, the product review, Spring 2019, Edit uh, Spring Edit 2019 product reviews. This one, post your polls. This is a good one. Um, so you can post polls in the community forum and then you uh, get results. So that one was kind of a silly one. So here somebody's trying to narrow down the sense of the sponge gels they're going to get. So they asked, and here is the answer people voted for the beach grass as the best scented sponge gel. So uh, this is a really, really great way to find out more information. This is another thread I'm following, which what is your edit sale must have. This is another one, which items to pass on. So I have been reading all of these. This one has 185. I've read 183. This one has 298. I've read 296 of the posts. This one has, it's et cetera, et cetera. This one has 653. I've read 652 of the posts. So I definitely have some things to say. So that's the community forum. That's that first tip. I'm going to go ahead and close these so that they don't, um, so I can clear my tabs a little bit. Uh, these tabs are all open for a reason. I'm going to show you more and more. So here is the edit sale page. I have another tip is that as you here, I'm going to go to this one. Um, so if you are in that boat where you are trying to grab something, it's out of stock, out of stock, and you just can't get it, I highly recommend adding something to your favorite. So say I really, really wanted to grab this Murad uh, Retinol Youth Renewal Serum. You favorite it by marking this little heart right here, and then you can go to My Favorites, and then that will show up there. Oh, I've been waiting for that, and I've been waiting for that. I just snagged two things, see? So those are two things I've been waiting to show up so that I can throw them into my cart learn more about them and decide if I want to really get them in the end. So uh, also you can see that the Mira that I just added showed up here. This way when you are waiting to grab something, you don't have to refresh the page where all of the products are and wait for all of those products to load and scroll and scroll and scroll to get to them. You have all the products that you're waiting for on your favorites page just right there and ready. Wow, people are really after this green goo pain relief. I'm surprised I'm able to just grab a whole bunch of them right now. That's really strange. 
Um, I just want one. But anyway, so that's pretty cool. People were complaining that it's been so hard to get one. So see, that's a really, really efficient way to get things that you were really hoping to get. Another tip that I have is that if you are on the fence about getting something and you, you just don't know, check the last call. This over here, last call. This is where FabFitFun puts the things that are likely not going to show up again in a sale in the near future. So I know a lot of people really like this Moroccan Gold Series treatment mask. It's in last call, so you might want to snag one if you aren't sure. Uh, you might want to go ahead and just grab it. So that is a really good way to decide, do I need to get it now or can I just wait and see if it's in a future sale? So that's another tip. Um, another tip that I have is what I do it can be really, really painful to pare down your cart, right? I, I have $700, over $700 in my cart right now of goodies. Now, one thing that I do to pare down my cart is I check, is it cruelty-free? If it's not cruelty-free, I will eliminate it from my cart. I in no way want anyone watching this video to feel like I am forcing them to think about buying cruelty-free. That is just a tip and uh, something that I have done for myself. I will let you know uh, what people think of the products that aren't cruelty free uh, just as much as I will let you know what people think of the products that are. I, I choose not to buy it. It helps it pare down my cart and it helps me in my journey that isn't very easy to go cruelty free. It's not easy to go cruelty free. Anyway, this isn't a video about being cruelty free. So that's one way I pare down my cart. Another way I pare down my cart is that I've really started to learn about ingredients. So how do I find out about if it's cruelty-free? I like to check two websites. I like Cruelty Free Kitty, so that's this website right here. This is the URL if you want to um, pause the video and write it down. It's Cruelty Free Kitty. I like this one. On the home page, it has a search bar. You can search the product. So for instance, Kate Somerville. So Kate Somerville pops up. I'm going to hit enter. And it, there it is. Kate Zummerville is cruelty free, but there's a catch here. So if you read a little bit further, uh, it's not Kate Zummerville isn't certified by any anyone. Usually, um, PETA will be uh, the certifying agency for some of these. And then if you go here, this is something I also look at too. Kate Somerville is cruelty free, however they're owned by Unilever, which is a company that does own other brands that do test on animals. So. There, to me, I have decided that I am going to try not to purchase from uh, companies that are also owned by, that are owned by larger companies that do test on animals. So there's a catch to that. Of course, I will, again, I am not trying to force anyone to think anyway. Uh, so I will let you know what I've heard about the Kate Somerville products in the sale. Um, and then uh, the other one I like to check for this, because uh, these, these are websites that are maintained by volunteers. So it's it's hard sometimes a website doesn't have every brand I also like to check ethical elephant so this is the other one so here's the URL if you want to pause the video and make a note of that so cruelty free kitty and ethical elephant you can also check PETA's website uh, directly and see what they say PETA if you check their website you're gonna go beyond cosmetics cruelty free kitty and ethical elephant are about beauty products uh, PETA, you will start to learn that so many things in your home aren't cruelty-free. Okay, moving on from the cruelty-free tip, one way that I like to check for the ingredients to know if I um, want to eliminate toxic ingredients. Uh, so let's see, let's take let's take Kate Somerville's ingredients, the um, SPF 50 uh, spray. So I'm going to copy these. And then I am going to go over to this website. This is skincharisma.com. Uh, so if you want to pause and take a moment to write that down, this is the home page. And right here, they have a cosmetic analyzer. If you click that, and then you go here to this box, you paste in the ingredients, and then you hit analyze product, it will show you if any of the ingredients are flagged. Now, the issue with this is it it shows you what products could be alarming but it doesn't tell you much more so what it gives you is the EWG rating now this rating 
this is a seven, so that's actually quite quite concerning, but it doesn't tell you why it's concerning. So if you want to dig further, you do have to do a Google search and, and find out exactly why that particular ingredient might not be so good to put on our bodies. This is another way I uh, have started to figure out how to eliminate products. The EWG, that stands for Environmental Working Group, this is their website, and this is who they are. They're a nonprofit, nonpartisan organization dedicated to protecting human health and the environment. So those are the tips. Now let's get into the fun part <laughs> and look at the actual products in the sale. So I have decided I am going to spring for a mystery bundle this time. I'm going to do a 500 subscriber giveaway and likely there will be something in there that I will put into the giveaway. Uh, so I'm going to spring for a mystery bundle. Sometimes they can be very disappointing and sometimes people are just thrilled. So it's really, really a gamble with mystery bundles and you just have to decide if you're feeling lucky. Uh, so here are the bundles that they have. I have never purchased an actual bundle. I have never wanted more than one thing in the bundle, so it's never been wor worth it for me. Uh, but they are a great way to save if you do want the more than one item in the bundle. Uh, so, but I'm going to skip the bundles uh, talking about them here because I will just talk about the things, the products individually. So, here's the first product. It is Mirad. I have used the refreshing cleanser. It's the cleanser in the purple. I have dry skin. It was a little bit too drying for me. A few things about Murad. So Murad is another product that is owned by Unilever. So Murad's cruelty free, but they're owned by Unilever. Unilever's not cruelty free. So you can make a decision for yourself there. Um, that might be a way to help pair it on your cart. Beyond that, I do know that some people swear by Murad products and really, really like them. I've used a few, and I am using actually their moisturizer that's available in the sale right now, and it's nice. Uh, some people, though, have had bad breakouts. Uh, some people with sensitive skin do break out from using Murad products, and I have seen that um, on more than one occasion in reviews. I do know that this ingredient right here can be very, very harsh for sensitive skin. Uh, another ingredient that you wanna, you might want to start thinking about are pegs. Um, those can be quite toxic to our systems, and unfortunately, pegs are in practically everything. They help absorb, they help products absorb into our skin. Uh, but I will leave a link in the description box below with a brief article on why pegs are, are, can be toxic to our systems. <clears throat> anyway, so. As far as, uh, that's another thing, so they're owned by Unilever, not that it's not cruelty free, and then they can have questionable ingredients. But, like I said, some people swear by them, and if you already know that Murad products work for you, that then go for it. This is an amazing, amazing deal. Um, Way of Will, I don't know much about their products. People aren't talking too, too much. People are very curious to buy them, but I haven't seen a lot of people actually review the products that are in here from Way of Will. I did look up Way of Will. They're a com Canadian company. They're cruelty-free. Uh, so I, I, that's about all I know there. These uh, mineral sunscreens. So this one is a mineral sunscreen. So a mineral sunscreen is actually these ingredients aren't as toxic to our systems and they are reef safe. So these are okay to use. They go on uh, uh, opaque. They, they are colored. So if you use this one, it this one's probably white. Um, it's it's also made by Kula. So if you like the Kula, this is a healthier alternative. But you can't use it if you, it, it it'll show on your skin when you use it. I don't know if you remember like movies from the eighties where you could see white on the surfers' uh, noses. That's mineral sunscreen. Um, anyway, I don't know anything about this one, so I'm just gonna say don't know as I as I if, as I go by things I don't really know anything about. I have seen one person talk about the Namaste products, and she said or they said that they really really liked the whole line and that they worked really well for them. That was one person. Other than that, there are minimal minimal reviews. I couldn't really find anything. Uh, if you're interested, you can check Cruelty Free Kitty and Ethical Elephant to see if they're cruelty free. If you are interested in that tip, I. Don't know anything about this one other than people were just laughing at it. Now this one I'm so excited to share with you if you did not know. This is Wow's 
moisturizer. JWoww being Jenny Farley from Jersey Shore. Jersey Shore is a guilty pleasure of mine. When I, It came out when I was probably about 26 and I just couldn't stop watching. They were such a mess and I'm a fan of Snookies. Anyway, so that's... um. That's JWoww from Jersey Shore's product. I have it in my cart. I don't know if I'll get it. I probably won't. Uh, it actually has some very interesting um, ingredients, plankton extract, um, and the ingredients don't look alarming. Uh, not quite. Niacinamide, that's a good, that's a good ingredient um, for oily skin, I believe. And yeah, so it actually... Doesn't look like a bad product. I, she may have done well. Uh, it only lasts six months after opening, so you have to make sure to use it up. Uh, but I thought that that was so amusing. I wasn't able to find much on this this skincare line. Uh, no reviews. No one's talking about it. So buy at your own risk if you want to see if it's any good. Uh, same with this. I didn't really see many reviews. Uh, seems seems okay. Uh, yeah, so, uh, I, like I said, if I don't know much about it, I will just say I don't know much about it. That's what I should do. Um, this wine block bomb, don't know much about it. <laughs> Gonna stick to my guns on that. Rodial or Rodial, I'm not sure. Uh, no one, people have asked on the forum. No one seems to know much about them. People are really eyeing the Dragon's Blood products, this one. Uh, and they have another dra Dragon's Blood blood product on here somewhere too. We'll get to it down the line. It's probably out of stock. Uh, so people are really eyeing the dragon's blood stuff, but other than that, nobody really um, knows much. Let's see if they're cruelty-free. I think that they are. I think I searched and that they are. So this is cruelty-free kitty. It is cruelty-free. Uh, they are not owned by a parent company that tests on animals. So so, yeah, anyway, they're newer. Um, that's the wrong tab. Okay, so I have been wanting to try something by Juice Beauty. I am going to get this cleanser. I have been wanting a new good go-to cleanser. Juice Beauty is organic, vegan, cruelty-free, all of those things. They have really nice or ingredients, nothing toxic. They are a kind of brand of beauty products that they have at Whole Foods. Uh, so far, I haven't seen anything that I really wanted from Juice Beauty. Unfortunately, I see mixed reviews. This, if you search it, has four out of five stars. Uh, and then I've seen a lot of people say that they haven't liked any Juice Beauty products. And I've seen a lot of people say that they love them. So I'm going to give this one a shot. I have dry skin, and this is a creamy, milky, cleanser, so it seems like it could work nicely for me. I'm definitely eyeing this, and I will probably get it. I hope it doesn't disappoint. Um, this, I've seen people say really lovely things about this, that it makes their skin feel nice and soft. It has a peg in it. That's okay. It's really, really hard to avoid pegs. Uh, yeah, that's the only ingredient I see that's really jumping out at me. Uh, here's another pair of silk item. I probably won't get this um, because I'm looking at the patchology patches, patchology feet, foot peels, I mean. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and delete that from my cart. Okay, now here's more Juice Beauty stuff. This this one uh, actually had excellent reviews. This has four and a half out of five stars of hundreds and hundreds of reviews if you search it. So I do need a moisturizer on deck, and again, this is organic cruelty-free, all those things, and I will probably get this to try after I'm out of the Murad that I mentioned I was using. I don't know anything about this. I searched for these Accelerate, this Accelerate brand. They seem brand spanking new. There weren't very many reviews. I think there were a couple, and it seemed like maybe the reviews were written by family members or something. So uh, they're brand new. Uh, they The ingredients and, and, and everything, the, they seem cruelty-free. It seems like it could be good if you're giving it a try. I would love to hear how it works out. Um, nobody knows anything on the for on the forum either, at least that I saw. Uh, I don't know anything about this one. I 
if you've watched my channel much at all, you know that I am very self-conscious about the skin on my neck sagging and I am excited about Tula. People are just raving about Tula. Tula is the star of this sale and I am excited to try this neck cream. Uh, and there aren't any products that drop, I mean, uh, ingredients that really jump out at me. I do know that this one is a preservative and some people can be sensitive to it. I don't have sensitive skin. It does have perf perfume as well, which uh, is always marked as an alarming ingredient, but everything scented. Uh, so it's, it's fine for me. Um, anyway, so uh, I do try to avoid scent, but it's fine for me to a degree. So the Wish stuff, I, I'm i not going to be getting it, and I see very split opinions about Wish as well. I, I see some people say they're all crap products. Excuse me. They're all terrible products, and I see some people saying that they love them. They love the smell. I did see some a few people say that anything toasted vanilla by the Wish brand just smells terrible. They said that it smells like burnt vanilla or just really, really bad. So that was, I think I saw about three, one person say it and then a few more people agreed with it. Uh, I don't know anything about this one. I don't know anything about this nothing about this. Terra Mare is an absolutely lovely organic vegan cosmetics line or skincare line. I've never seen anything other than skincare from them. Um, so uh, absolutely, if you are interested in this and you need an exfoliant and you're leaning toward this one, it's probably lovely. I have tried two things by Terra Mare. I'm using an eye cream of theirs right now. Um, I don't know. The Thank You Farmer, this company came around in 2015. They're part of the whole K-beauty phenomenon, Cure Korean Beauty, and they have few reviews, but the few reviews that I have found are quite good. I'm probably not going to get this trio. Uh, the ingredients aren't perfect, but they're okay-ish, and I, I'm probably, again, I'm probably not going to get this trio, but they, they, they seem... They seem like they could be okay. We'll see where this brand goes. But I am actually going to go ahead and eliminate that from my cart. Uh, okay, people are saying awful things about this one. I have not seen anyone say anything good about it. That's that's it. Uh, Sonage, uh, I remember this line I asked in the last sale. They had some products available and I asked in the forum about it and I, two people responded to me and all they could say was that it didn't impress them. Um, so that's about it. You do a Google search on these and there aren't many reviews. Spongels, people absolutely love them and I fully support the rage, but I don't, I don't buy them because I do think that they're a little bit wasteful, so I try not to participate, but uh, people absolutely love them. So if you're thinking about trying them out, uh, you might want to. And I showed you that poll in the beginning of this video, and people actually, I think it was this scent that uh, was rated the best uh, as the favorite scent out of all the scents. There's, um, where was that? Uh, I think I may have closed that. Uh, yeah, I, I accidentally closed that. Um, that tab, but it was the there was a thread on the forum that has said post your poll polls here. Anyway, moving on. So I'm also seeing a lot of really divided uh, opinions on the skin Iceland stuff. Some people are saying it's great, they love it, and some people are saying no way. Uh, so that's another toss up. And for me, when things are a toss up like that, I have learned that it just doesn't feel worth it to spring for it and take that gamble. Um, I don't know anything about this one other than I think I saw somebody say that it's a dollar cheaper some on some other site right now. So <laughs> you might see if you can find that elsewhere. This one they have had around since the fall in sales and I have heard really terrible things about it. The okay, so these ingredients are bad. So this is a really really this is a preservative uh and it's it can be a really harsh ingredient. It can, people can be very sensitive to it. For some reason it has dyes. I don't know why it would really need all those dyes. Um, those seem totally irrelevant. Yeah, so this is not a, I don't know. And unfortunately for Scan & Co, it makes me 
completely uninterested in any of their other stuff. Uh, they have a truffle therapy cream in here that I just completely gloss over. Okay, now this one, this seems like actually it could be a really great product. The, the ingredients are fantastic. And yeah, the ingredients are fantastic. I thought about maybe grabbing this for my husband, seeing if he wants to use it since it's non-gender specific. Uh, I didn't see a whole lot of reviews for it. Well, let's take a moment. Let's see. Not non-gender specific serum. Yeah, there weren't a lot of reviews, but the reviews that were, this is what I was going to say. The, the reviews that are there are nice. They're good. Look at that. Four reviews, five star rating, nine, yeah. So, so I'm, I'm actually, I'm kind of curious about this product. Um, yeah, maybe I'll grab it for my husband or my brother even for Christmas. <laughs> I'm already Christmas shopping. <laughs> okay, so I've seen some people say that this really does help. Um, does it, it's not perfect. It doesn't solve the problem with high heels, but it helps a lot. I've seen some people, I've seen, oh, there was a poll on this one, Green Goo Bath Salts, and Ahava Bath Salts won over it, but people love the Green Goo stuff, the stuff, especially the stuff in a tin. So here we are at Dr. Brandt. Dr. Brandt does test on animals. Now, there's some cruelty-free confusion. I've seen, I've addressed this, and I've seen some people debate this. Dr. Brandt chooses to sell it in China where it is required by a law to test on animals to put products on their shelves. If a company decides to sell in China, they are consenting to having the Chinese government test their products on animals. So their products are tested on animals. They themselves don't do the testing. The Chinese government does. But there you go. So they are not considered cruelty-free. Cruelty I will go ahead and plug them into the uh, cruelty-free kitty, and I'll show you what they say. So here, Dr. Brandt is not cruelty free, and it goes on to tell you a little bit more about why. Uh, and what Dr. Brandt will, what companies like Dr. Brandt will do is they'll put on their website that they are fully uh, against it. They they wish to promote finding alternatives. Uh, here, there are some countries that still believe that animal testing is necessary. In those cases, in, in those cases, the national government. Conduct, to conduct their own tests of our products. We do not and will never test on animals ourselves. So that's what they'll put on their website to make it sound like they're not doing it, but they are. They don't need to choose to sell their products in China. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money, you know? So um, anyway, so because I keep on clicking on that tab. Uh, so that's, that's Dr. Brandt's deal. Now, aside from the animal testing, I haven't seen many people talking about these particular products. These are newer. I haven't seen these in sales before, so I don't know much about those. As we get to the other ones, I'll tell you what I do know, aside from the animal testing, about uh, how people like them. <clears throat> I saw uh, a couple of people comment on the Khaleesi uh, products, and they weren't good. People were not impressed, so... Someone said, save your money on this micellar water and find another one. Uh, Kula, uh, I, I have this one, and people are raving about it, and I feel like I've worn it a few times. It's nice to have a sunscreen that's specifically for your face that you wear on a daily basis, <laughs> but to me, it just felt like a sunscreen. There wasn't anything terribly amazing to wear it, it was fine. Um, it also, I've seen some people uh, assert that it is, it has good ingredients, which this ingredient right here is not a good uh, sunscreen ingredient. And sunscreens, sunscreens practically across the board have ingredients that are very questionable to put on our bodies. They uh, mess with our hormones, they mess with thyroid function, I think some of them even. Anyway, so they can be very toxic to our systems. There are some sunscreens that are not, like the mineral sunscreens, those are much better for us. But uh, so this this is just like any other sunscreen, potentially toxic to us. It works just fine, I felt. Uh, but it, I didn't find it to be as amazing as a lot of people do. Okay, so I don't know anything about this one except for people voted for the Grown Alchemist over this uh, this lotion. 
I don't know. I saw one person saying that this is their coveted uh, go-to product. I that's that's all. I have to. It was one person. <clears throat> I didn't look up reviews on it. I, I didn't have any interest in it. People love the Ahava stuff. So if you're curious about getting an Ahava product, go for it. People love it. I have a hand cream. I I don't like it as much as this hand cream from Trader Joe's, but I typically get. It's nice. Uh, I keep it on my desk at work. Um, this mud mask, people, this is a two-minute mud mask. So people really, really like this one because you can, Some one person was saying, I love it because I can put it on in the beginning of the shower, and then by the end of the shower, I just I wash it off. I don't have to worry about splashing my face in um, over the sink. Now the ingredients, some ingredients are popping out at me. This is, uh, a, if you have sensitive skin, this can be a bad one. Pegs are in here, um, which kind of surprises me uh, because I have seen some of their other products that the ingredients were amazing. Anyway, so this is a cruelty-free product though, a, a line, and it's made in Israel and People love it. Uh, okay, I don't know about this fragrance. People also really, really love this mask. I've used it as a mask. I think that it is okay, and the smell I think is okay. I am alone in that. People love this mask. They love both the smell, and they think it works amazing. I have very dry, curly hair, so I think I need a little, a little something a little bit more moisture and chat intense. I have this. It took a while for it to grow on me. This is, you can read, this is the Living Proof Multitasking Styler. I got it in the fall uh, at it and I paid $9. So the Living Proof stuff definitely has gone up in price and this is the only product they have available in the sale. Um, it When I first used it, it, used it, it felt a little bit heavy, but I know, I believe that I use too much and a little of it goes a long way and I do actually, I have actually really grown to like using this for certain things. I did an in, I did a, a video uh, uh, dedicated to reviewing this product um, a few months back. Anyway, so I do like this product. I am not buying it for $19 again though, but I do like it. Uh, the Aquis or Aquis or however you want to say it, the hair towels. They are popular for a reason. I have one from like 20 years ago that my aunt gave me. It's so cool to see them popping up of all over these sales. I bought two in the last sale. I have this one in my cart now. I don't know if I need it. I just put it in my cart. I have seen this glitch before. It is actually in my cart for some reason. It is showing up like that. But when I've seen that glitch in the past, I do still end up getting charged for the product and the product does show up in my box. I don't know anything about this. I have heard people raving about the Briogeo Rosarco Malk, so I'm very excited to try it. I just mentioned I have curly hair, curly dry hair though, so I am learning that these leave-in conditioning sprays aren't aren't the best product for my hair. They work well, they are nice, but I do know that I, I need something a little bit more powerful. These The people that rave about Briogeo, I watched their videos like Tati loves Briogeo and her hair is so straight and silky looking and I just don't have her hair. So I don't know that it will work as well on me. We'll see, I'm very excited to try it. I am only getting one. Uh, this is more Thank You Farmer, and actually, I would be very, very interested to get this just for this pink one, the Sun Project Shimmer Sun Essence. I think that it probably looks so pretty uh, as just a, a, an SPF uh, with a, sh a pretty little, a pretty shimmer in it. Anyway, but I don't wear, uh, I don't wear foundation, so I don't know about this makeup base, and I think that this makeup base is a newer product of theirs. The company's newer. They were established in 2015, but the makeup base, I can't find it online. I can't find any reviews. I found this with about five reviews, and they were, it was five stars. Uh, so, I'm very curious to see what happens with this line of beauty products. Again, it's Korean beauty and it's cruelty free and it's new. Okay, so this, I don't know anything about that. This one, okay, so you know how you watch a Tati video or any video and a girl's shoulders and 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 decollete and, and they just look so shimmery and pretty and I've decided I kind of want to start exploring that. So I am considering getting this. I feel like it would look so cute and pretty 
just rubbed on my shoulders. I haven't looked at these pictures yet, actually. Uh, so Ciate is cruelty free. I think maybe I would go for the gold. I have both in my cart. Go for I'll go for the gold. Um, I have both in my cart, but I am considering getting the gold one of the, this stick. Um, so I'm excited about that. I think that that would be a really using the stick would be a really good way to introduce me to using that kind of a product, a shimmer product. Uh, <clears throat> I have seen people say that this really helps with their um, nail biting habits. I don't have that habit, so I haven't tried it, but I've seen people say that it really helps. The Trustique, I've seen people really, um, oh no, this isn't the one I thought it was. Some pe I've seen some people say that they really like this. Uh, that's a very pink color though. <clears throat> I got this uh, mascara a couple of sales ago in the winter edit, I believe, and I have my holy grail mascara that is CoverGirl's CoverGirl Fibers Super Sizer Fibers mascara. I love that mascara, and so far any mascara I try just kind of pales in comparison. So I don't like this one nearly as much. If you if you don't like a super lengthening mascara, which the CoverGirl one is that I just talked about, then this could be for you. I feel like this one it adds volume, but it's it's not dramatic. So if you don't if if you want something that's less dramatic, which I don't, um, then then that this one could work for you. The packaging on this one actually feels really nice. I remember that being the most the most uh, notable thing when I took when I took it out of the box. Um, Okay, I don't know anything about this. Ish is a, um, it's a FabFitFun makeup line and people say it's terrible. I've never tried anything by it, Ish, uh, but yeah, so I don't, I won't because people don't say good things about it. This I went into, I did a video a few months back. It was my first trip to Ulta ever and I sprayed this on my face and yeah, I did not enjoy doing it. It smelled like alcohol and it had a very, very, um, uh, hard, not a harsh, I wouldn't use the word harsh, but it, it sprayed pretty directly onto my face and it, it was, I just, it, I did not enjoy using it. It doesn't have good reviews on Sephora either. It has like three and a half stars, so I don't really recommend it. Um, Touch in soul. So I I was thinking about looking into a primer. I don't wear a foundation, so I am going to think about it. There are pegs in this. Um I don't I don't know that I want this to be the first primer that I ever use. I haven't I didn't look at reviews on this. I'm gonna move on. I didn't look at reviews. I I do I should learn a little bit more about these touch and soul primers. If you know anything about them, please comment below. Uh, let us know. Um, okay. I don't know. This one, <clears throat> people were wondering about it on the forum and then somebody posted a really, really helpful YouTube video and a woman did an excellent review on it and she it, it gave her problems with her skin. So I highly recommend searching for that video. Um, I'll, it, I'll post the link to it in the description box below. Uh, so it gave her really bad problems with her skin. So I don't recommend getting this. Uh, she posted pictures in her video as well. Um, okay, so people really like this whole thing. Um, I've seen it on videos and stuff. It's a fancy, fancy t tweezer setup. I'm not going to get them. Um, I don't know anything about these. Uh, this looks interesting and novel, but I, I haven't seen anyone say that it's amazing. Sutra, the brand, I no one can find any reviews for it. So I don't recommend, it, it's definitely buy at your own risk with these uh, these tools, these hair tools. Just, I, I don't recommend spending the money on it. You can find something on sale somewhere else that has... Uh, more a better reputation or a, a any reputation at all. Um, <clears throat> this looks nice. I don't know. I never I never cared to buy it. It looks it looks like it would feel good. Um, microderm uh, derma rollers, micro rollers. I hesitate to use them so far because I'm learning so much about ingredients in skin skincare products, and I don't know that I want to be putting products on my injured skin let alone my actual skin. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to, I'm waiting till I can get into more organic and 
and healthier ingredients before. I, I don't, maybe I should talk to a dermatologist. I hesitate with derma rollers. I know that people swear by them and they say that they really, really help them out quite a bit. Uh, I just hesitate knowing that there are some questionable ingredients that um, I want to learn more about in my skincare. Uh, I don't know anything about these two straighteners, but I got the Numi straightener <laughs> a few sales ago. I upgraded from my 20-year-old Conair straightener, and I love this straightener. I am so glad I did it. I straightened my hair the other um, yesterday morning, and it took me in it before work, and it took me 20 minutes, and I have a lot of curly hair, so that is just amazing. So I really, really like this. I have not seen anyone say that they didn't that bought it and a lot of people have have bought it and, and, and um, left reviews on the forum or online. It is a really, really nice straightener. If you are considering getting one, I do recommend that one. I am considering getting this and this looks like a really awesome gift for somebody. You know, if you go on a trip and you want to pack an extra bag so that you can bring back souvenirs, this is perfect. People have said that they hold up really well and, and people were saying really good things about it on the forum. So I really do think I'm going to get at least one for myself and then maybe a couple more just to have on hand as gifts. Um, I do not buy jewelry from FabFitFun. I find that jewelry in general from these subscriptions, uh, not just FabFitFun, for some reason it's often brass. It's often like plated brass and it's and it doesn't last or it tarnishes or yeah so I don't and, and, and it's you look at it and it's nowhere near the quality of a $75 piece of jewelry. If you, if, please, if you have a good experience with jewelry, again, comment below, let us know. If, but so far, this is kind of the consensus I've seen on the forum and in other uh, review videos is that the jewelry you might want to steer clear from. Um, this is a really cute, uh, water bottle, somebody asked uh, to have a picture posted by another person on the community forum and they posted it and she wanted to see the opening and the opening is quite narrow. Uh, so she ended up dumping it from her cart because of that. I bought some resistant bands. Oh, they weren't my tag along, so they were a different brand. So I'm not gonna talk about that. I don't know anything about this. This is one of those trigger point balls. You could use a tennis ball for that if you are um, interested and you want to save some money. A tennis ball works just fine. Um, okay, I don't know anything about these. Oh, here's the Hava uh, bath salts. People love these. People love these. If you're considering getting it, people love them. Um, I don't know anything about these things. The wealthy, yeah, I don't know. Um, I tend to not get things that are non-beauty products, so I'm going to end up scrolling quite a bit now. This is just hilarious to me. I don't know, perhaps I'm trying to keep my mind open. Maybe, maybe it could be helpful for people who suffer from carpal tunnel or, or what, but it, it just seems so funny to me. I, anyway, I'm curious why, why somebody might feel like they need that. Um, okay, people are so excited about this mug. It's really, really funny. Um, and let's see going. Okay, these people are saying really, really good things about this. So this is another thing that I maxed out on because I thought this is something nice to have on hand for a little birthday gift for a coworker or something along those lines. Uh, so I, I put three in my car. I may or may not get three. This is another thing that is just like that. I immediately when I saw this, I just added three to my car. I want one. I'm sure it works great. And then I that I was right. I was correct that it works great. People on the forum, forum have been saying that they maxed out because it's a great gift for bridal showers or whatever. So I am very excited to have that on hand as a present for people as well. I bought I bought a pair of these in a, in a sale. Um, I think on the winter winter edit and. They work. They definitely work. They're a little bit uncomfortable. So I I think I could go I think I could go like half an hour before I started to feel like they were kind of pinching me. I do have a really big head though. So that's important. I have I like one size fits all hats do not fit me. Large hats do not. I need extra large hats. So that's really important. So it might not it might just be uh specific to me now now that I was saying that. 
Okay, so Chic, Chic and Tonic, that is another brand that is a FabFitFun brand, just like Ish is a FabFitFun brand. So take that for what you will. They have a lot of stuff. I never consider getting it. The beanbag chair, people say that it is really, really nice to have and it folds out into a bed and that's nice for guests. Like they, People are saying my son loves it. So if you're considering getting one of these, a lot of people are saying really good things. That they, I haven't seen one person say that they regretted getting it in the last sale. Uh, I am getting this for my sister. She loves using straws and it is an Enviro straw. I looked it up. It is by a company that is doing a lot of stuff for the environment. One of them is making these straws to help eliminate all the waste from all the straws that get used around the globe every single day. Uh, so, and my sister loves straws, so I'm gonna get her this. It's a two pack. I can give one to her and one to my mother. And it's, I just love getting gifts on here. I honestly, I get so many gifts. Okay, more bundles. I'm gonna go past them. <clears throat> I'm really curious if anybody is getting, if you're getting one of these and you've used one before, let us know how it was. I'm so curious. <clears throat> this one too. Anyway, um, <clears throat> okay, so this Murad uh, Rapid Age Spot Pig and Pigment Lightening Serum, I bought this in the last sale. Uh, I don't know that I'm actually ever going to use it. What I found out about it is this ingredient, hydroquinone. That is the, the key ingredient that helps with the pigmentation, helps to lighten the dark spots. Uh, what I also read about it is that if you use it for a prolonged period of time and it can lighten you too much, you can end up giving yourself light spots and getting uneven skin tone that way. Uh, you So I if I ever use this, I will consult with a dermatologist first. Um, I was also pregnant at the time and somebody told me that pregnant women shouldn't use hydroquinone. I don't know how true that is, but somebody did say that. So if you are pregnant or nursing, you might want to look into that as well. But those things aside, the people that have used it say that it works wonders. So that's why, that's why I bought it, but I don't know if I will ever use it. I still have it new and I might end up trading it. Um... <clears throat> this one, some people, uh, I've seen more people say that this did nothing for them than have said that it was amazing. But some people have said that they really, really like this stuff. But a lot of people say that it does nothing for them. Um, the few people, a couple of people said that they really like this. Not very many. Um, I did see this get talked about, but I can't exactly remember. So now this one, people were raving about. This was a, a coveted product a few sales back, and I ended up getting it, and I, I wish that I hadn't. It has a very short shelf life. It's six months, and I... That was one reason why I thought I wasn't, I shouldn't get it before, and because it's a mask. I don't use masks quite that quickly, especially a mask like this. This is, it's almost like a clay mask. It's, it doesn't dry up like a clay mask does after you wore it, after you wear it, but it it goes on and it and it's supposed to target your pores and clean them out, which is what a clay mask does. But then it also has beads in it for exfoliating. When you wash it off, you use the beads to exfoliate. I ha I used it a few times. I was not impressed. I It's been four months and I have barely put a dent in it. It's going to go bad. I wish I hadn't gotten it. It is also another reason that I wasn't thinking, I was thinking about not getting it is that it's better for combo combination to oily skin and I have dry skin. I wish I hadn't gotten this. People people just rave about it though and, and my experience might be unique. So you might end up loving it. Uh, <clears throat> this is a little travel pack of a few products I've already touched on. This one, if you, there's another YouTuber, her name is, or her channel name is This or That. I really, really like watching her and she loves this thing. So I have one in my cart. I have yet to decide if I'm going to get it or not. There are, it's Murad, I already mentioned Murad does, if you're into looking at ingredients, Murad does have some ingredients that you might want to be careful for, especially if you have sensitive skin. But she really, really likes it, so I might uh, get one. I, this is the moisturizer I said that I'm in the middle of using. 
I like it. It feels really, really nice. Uh, it, I think it has pegs in it. Yeah, it has one peg in it. So the ingredients on this one aren't aren't awful. There are some things, like I said, Murad is, some people can have reactions to Murad products. I see a couple of things that can be um, irritants. Uh, anyway, so it's it's a nice moisturizer. I, I am enjoying using it. It feels really good when I put it on. I'm not getting it again uh, for reasons that I've already stated that I'm starting to kind of steer away from using Murad. Uh, this is, a, so back to the whole thing about how I want to be shimmery like Tati. This is another uh, product like that that I am considering trying. When I saw it in a sale before though, it was $5 and now it's $17, so it's much more expensive. So I don't think I'm going to get it. I also saw somebody say that it was really, really shimmery. Um, I would like more of a subtle shimmer. I think she said that she felt like she was too old to be that shimmery, so maybe when I was in high school, I, it could be that shimmery. I'm not sure. Or you could. I, I was thinking maybe I could cut it with my moisturizer if I do decide to get it. But seventeen dollars is a little pricey. Um, I have heard that this what isn't a bad serum, but I heard a couple of people say that after a short while, they, it was really difficult for them to get it open that I don't know what's in it that made it so sticky. One woman even said that her husband couldn't even open it. So I decided to just dump it based on that. Um, I don't know much about this one. No one's talking about this one. Uh, this is more mineral sunscreen and these are fun because like I said, you can see the color when you put on mineral sunscreen and these are bright orange and bright yellow. So I don't know, that's kind of fun. I, I will probably end up dumping it, dumping it, but I have one reserved because I think that's, you know, fun. Like I said, <laughs> um, I don't know. I mentioned the Namaste products. One person said that they love them. Um, oh, so this I finally saw someone say something about this. I have blackheads on my nose, so I was really intrigued by it. Somebody said that you should just stick to the Biore pore strips, um, that they had used it and it caused redness and it was painful to take off. So I, I probably won't end up getting it. it. It just looks really darling and fun, but I don't think I need to use it. This is also, you know, this one, this is an ingredient that can cause irritation. It has some dyes in it, which, you know, I wear makeup, so there are dyes all up in makeup, but this isn't really a necessary product to have dyes in it. I guess the red, because it's watermelon, they wanted to make it red. So it has red dyes in it, but anyway, so I'll probably dump it, but doesn't it just look so cute and fun? <laughs> anyway, okay, so, oh, I don't know anything about this one. This one's really interesting. This, this, this description is so inaccurate. So this one has emu oil in it. Now that is oil from an emu. That is something that uh, started in Australia. They do harvest the oil from the fat deposits in emus. The emus do have to be dead when this happens. And then now, down here, it says that it's vegan. In no way is this product vegan. <laughs> okay, so it's not a vegan product. It has emu oil. Take that for what you will. I am not a vegan. I am not a vegan. I try to be vegan in my in my skincare and my products. I I do eat meat, but anyway, so um, that's a huge error. Um, anyway, I just wanted to point that out. I Kate Somerville. I had this in my car and then I double checked on them. They're owned by Unilever. I will probably not get this and I will choose the Juice Beauty moisturizer over this one just because that 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 cruelty free thing, I'm trying to go cruelty free and it helps me make the decision. So I am going to end up dumping this, I think. I'm hanging on to it right now because who knows, but I'm, going, I'm probably not going to get it. I, uh, I'm i just not really very interested in these. Um, again, owned by Unit Lover. This, I, I have heard good things. I've heard that this, it has a subtle coconut smell, uh, but that it's not sticky. It feels nice. It's somewhat oily, which is fine. I usually put on my, uh, my lip moisturizer right before I go to bed so I won't even notice it. I've been using the Jouer lip uh, enhancing, uh, the Jouer essential lip enhancer, but uh, it, I, you know, it's going to run out someday. So I'm, I think I'm going to get this to replace it once it runs out. And uh, people have said decent things about it. So why not? I haven't tried anything by Kopari yet. Um, 
I don't know, I don't know. Here's more rodeal stat things. People don't seem to have much reference to one way or another if it's good for you. Um, I was thinking about getting the tanning water. I probably won't. I I don't know who I think I am. I think I just have been watching too much Tati and I want to look tan and shimmery like she does. Her shoulders always look beautiful. Anyway, so here's the dragon's blood that uh, people are eyeing. Of the rodeal products or rodile products, uh, people are eyeing the dragon's blood the most. Um, here's bee venom. I don't know how they get that bee ven venom. So if you are vegan, you might want to think about that. Um, and then here's more shimmery stuff. Oh, I just snagged this and here that that issue's happening happening again where it's saying out of stock, but I actually did snag it in my cart. You guys saw it happen. Um, anyway, so it, I, again, I've had that issue and it still shows up. I still get charged for it. I don't know. This, the website gets a little glitchy, I guess. Um, more Juice Beauty stuff. This, again, Juice Beauty doesn't have the best reviews across the board, but I'm excited to try their cleanser. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, here's the Snow Fox stuff. So this is a, it's Taiwan, I believe. Yeah, made into Taiwan. This has excellent products of excellent ingredients. It was uh, developed by somebody who was battling severe rosacea. So uh, if you have that problem and you have sensitive skin, um, this is a really, really gentle, good product. That's what people have. Oh, here it says best for combination skin types with dry patches. The serum plumps and smooths. So, so this would be a really nice, uh, gentle product to try. It is new. Um, so there aren't a lot of reviews, uh, same here, uh, same exact deal here. So this looks kind of exciting. I may, I probably won't get it, but I'm still reserving it. I, I may change my mind. I am trying to get my cart down to about a hundred dollars and I don't need those kinds of, I don't need a serum. I don't need an oil. So I probably won't end up getting it. Summer and Rose, that is another FabFitFun uh, company. So I haven't purchased any of their things. I, I don't, uh, ish, people don't say good things about ish. I don't, really see a lot of people talking much about Summer and Rose either. So I'm going to move on. Saturday Skin. So this one, if you are having difficulty finding reviews, I read that this one changed its name and it used to be called Freeze Frame. So you might try looking that up. This is also quite new. Saturday Skin, I think, came around in 2017. It's also Korean beauty. And yeah, uh, Again, some ingredients are popping out at me that could be questionable, which is very hard to avoid. I did, I did see that it's cruelty free and that this that's true. Um, yeah, so I, I'm was thinking about getting this Saturday. It, it really, really appeals to me, just because it's pretty. If you go to their website, their website is really good at selling it to you, but. I don't think I'm going to get it. They they talk about being all natural ingredients, but you look here and uh, dimethicone's not an all natural. Pegs pegs I don't are, aren't all natural. I don't believe they're all natural. <laughs> Maybe I, I yeah they're not all natural. This isn't all natural. So, but they do a really really good job of selling themselves. And other than having those those ingredients, which so many things have. Uh, it does look like it could be really nice. I, I, they do really, I really, it's so pretty too, <laughs> but I think I'm going to stick with the Juice Beauty moisturizer. I think, I think, I think, who knows? I always surprise myself by what I end up getting at the end of the sale. Okay. So more Tula. I'm excited to try to, I still haven't tried the Tula face wash from the box because I'm using a grown alchem alchemist one. I'm almost done with it. Um, and oh, people also said that these Tula pads are really, really nice. They're very expensive though. It's over a dollar per pad. Um, and I think they're one time use. I believe they're one time use. <laughs> anyway, so it's seven dollars for five pads. But people said that they, these are amazing. So I'm going to give them a try. And then this is the star of the show. This is the thing that everyone wants this sale. So I'm very, very excited to try it. Um, Tula, cruelty-free, uh, decent ingredients, um, yeah, uh, decent ingredients, it has a peg, like I said, they're, 
They're so hard to avoid. Oh, Wish Lip Scrub. I do uh, have the almond one that a lot of people a few months back said smelled like vomit. I think that was a bad batch. Mine smells amazing. I want to eat the whole jar. It smells like cookie dough and I really, really like it. It has a very um, moisturizing consistency with uh, not very harsh granules in it. I think it's wonderful. Uh, so I don't know how the vanilla one works, but I love the almond one. Um, so people are very divided on the Wish stuff I already said. I probably won't get these things. I have plenty of hydrating face mists, but I they're divided. The reviews are just so divided. Terramare is lovely. Uh, I'm starting to get into repetition here. Sinaj I already touched on. Spangels I already touched on. Uh, Skin Iceland I already touched on. Oh, this one I know that people do not like it mostly. About, I would say, 80 to 90 percent of the people that are talking about this one on the forum do not like it. Then there are some people who say that the, their experience is completely different and they actually think it's kind of nice. I used this one, I used a whole bottle of it, and I just actually talked about it in a video. It is vegan, cruelty-free, it's all natural ingredients, it's amazing. I do not feel like I saw any results, unfortunately. So I won't be repurchasing that one. Here's the Skin & Co. Uh, truffle therapy I mentioned that shower gel just totally turned me off to Skin & Co and I'm not going to be purchasing anything by them unfortunately for them and for me maybe I don't know maybe Skin & Co is wonderful comment below um, <laughs> okay so Rosen people aren't saying anything good about this um, not a lot's being said but what's being said is not good I saw someone actually post a picture of this. She said hers arrived opened and then she used it and it caused irritation. So you shouldn't use, if something arrives open, don't use it. It can definitely cause irritation. Um, okay, let's see. Oh, here are the Patchology foot peel peels. I am excited to try this with my mom. Again, those pesky pegs, they're just everywhere. Uh, but I, I'm, I think I'm gonna get three. Depends on how I, what I tell myself ultimately about the ingredients. But I think I'm gonna get three. I think it would be really fun to give one to my mom and one to my sister and use them over Christmas um, and watch our feet get gross and peely. Um, uh, these are the Korean ORG peels that you spray on and you rub around and it's supposed to exfoliate and you see your skin balling up. I read an article where somebody put a latex glove on and then they put a little bit of oil on top of the latex glove to mimic face oil and then they sprayed this onto that and rubbed it around and this they got the same effect. So there's a blog post about that. They got the same effect where it balled up and it looked like it could have been skin. So I read that article and I thought, oh, I wonder if when you spray this, the, what what's actually happening is the product's just reacting with your skin and creating those the balled up stuff that makes people think that their skin's actually being exfoliated. So I that made me doubt it a little bit. That is not to say it doesn't have other ingredients that could be really good. I know, I mean, hyaluronic acid is amazing for attracting moisture to your skin and trapping it in. Licorice is really good for evening out skin tone. It is a natural way to do what that hydroquinone does from the Murad product. Uh, so it could still be a lovely product, but the fact that it balls up like it does might be kind of a little bit of a, I don't know, a gimmick, not a gimmick, but a little bit of a lie. Uh, anyway, but some people actually still really like those products and say that it makes their skin feel really nice. I've also seen some people say that you might as well just get the face one because you can use it over your whole body. I don't know about that, but they have two separate ones. And some people say that it feels really nice. Uh, others say what I said was that it's not, it's actually just a, uh, a false, a falsehood. I'm searching for the word there. <laughs> um, okay, so there's green goo bath salts. Uh, some people have said that they really like this, so if you're considering getting that. Um, I am an outlier on this one. The way this body cream felt was very, very nice. I didn't like the smell. It smelled like creamsicles to me, and I 
I guess I don't like the smell of creamsicles. At least not as a body lotion that I would put all over my body. But I was able to find somebody to trade the one that I had with, so that was good. It didn't go to waste. Uh, I bought this eye cream. I bought one for my uh, brother for Christmas, and then I bought it for my husband. My husband has been using it, and he made a point to thank me. He says it feels really nice. Mind you, it's the first eye cream he has ever used, <laughs> uh, so that I haven't used it. Um, and I have this in my in my cupboard. I haven't gotten to use it yet, but I'm very excited to use it. It is a brightening serum, so it has the licorice in it. I just mentioned licorice is used for evening out skin tone So um, and dealing with dark spots. So... Um, so people are just going crazy trying to get all of the green goo tins into their carts. I have the dry skin one. I bought that for my husband because he has, so we're getting older, we get weird dry skin patches. It's what happens. Um, so people are really, really clawing for these. People really like them. Uh, this is quite nice. I sprung for it the last sale. It has a nice scent to it, subtle, fruity scent to it. It feels ever so tingly as you're wearing it, so it feels like it's working. You wash it off, it feels nice and smooth after you do. It is true. It is a nice mask. I would not buy it again, even for $24, but I'm glad I got to try it. More Dr. Brandt stuff. So again, not cruelty-free, but, um, I well, I haven't seen anyone talk about that. This one people talk about and they say that it's a very nice cream. It is that's I mean, look at that discount. That's bonkers. So if you are eyeing this and you know all about the stuff that I said and you still are interested in getting it, I have seen some people say that it is quite it's quite nice. Um I don't know that I've noticed. I, I tend to gloss over what people say about Dr. Brent products, so I will admit that. This is another thing. Now, this has emu oil in it as well, which is so interesting. I had never heard of emu oil before this sale. Um, so I thought that, that was kind of fascinating. I have it in my cart because I have some... I actually have some spider veins on my stomach, um, just a little patch, and I was thinking about using it on it, but... I noticed earlier today that it has emu oil, so I will probably dump that uh, just because I, yeah. Anyway, the Dermalect products, I feel like, okay, so I've used one. <laughs> Never mind. I'm going to stop there, and I'm going to say the Dermalect product that I have used, let's revise my sentence, is this one, and I have raved about it, and I love this, and I feel like this actually, I got results from this on my neck. I, I... I'm so excited. It has, unfortunately, a paraben, it has a formaldehyde releaser, and it has pegs. This is a really bad for you product to put on your skin. I have one that I'm using, and I have an unopened one in my closet, and I have one in my cart here. But I don't think that I'm actually going to end up purchasing it because of those three things that I just showed you are in it and I've learned about ingredients and I don't think that I want to put them on my body anymore. I'm really happy that it did what it did for my neck. This is a foot cream. This one doesn't have nearly as bad ingredients. Um, this is also Dermalect, so I need a new foot cream. I probably won't get it because there are still... I don't know, I still have some of the Hey Honey Propolis one. Um, more Dermalect, I, yeah, so they're pretty shameless with the ingredients that they use, as you saw. I can't, I wasn't able to confirm this time around that they're cruelty-free, but I must have confirmed it before because I did buy them to begin with. Um, so Daily Concepts, I, I have these, I have these gloves, and I do like using them, I do. Um, again, this is something kind of like the sponge gels that's, that are a little, it's a little bit wasteful. They look quite nice, but I'm going to, I'm going to stay away from buying any more. Khaleesi, people didn't, people didn't seem to like it. Uh, Sila, <clears throat> people really like this balm. I wanted to get it and I didn't get it last sale and I forgot that the reason that I didn't get it is that it has a lavender scent in it. Uh, and my husband does not like lavender, so... <laughs> I'm not getting it this time again, but people say that it's really nice. I don't, I haven't seen anyone say anything about these scrubs, which I kind of need an exfoliant, but we'll see. Um, okay, 
So this, I don't know anything about these. The Ahava cream mask, this came in the winter box and I love it. I love using it. Um, so if you're considering getting it, I do recommend it. If, especially if you have dry skin. If you have oilier skin, it might be a little bit too hydrating. I'm not sure. It works really well on my skin. I... Most people I have seen comment on this said that it was awful. I have seen a couple people say otherwise though, so there's that. I just finished using this and I thought it was okay. I thought it, I didn't think it was any better than like a drugstore shampoo and conditioner. It was very light. I, it, and it smelled, uh, it smelled like subtle coconut. It had a nice smell. I did enjoy the smell. Uh, but I didn't think that it was anything special, so I'm not getting it. I am definitely on the lookout for a new shampoo and conditioner, so if you have suggestions, comment below. I would love to hear what you love about... Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I would love to hear what you love. Uh, I did use this. I thought... Again, just like the hair mask that I talked about oh so long ago in this video, it smells just like it. So people love the way that smells. I think it smells okay. So, uh, and, and I am alone in that. People love the way it smells. So it it smells like that. And I did think it was, as far as leave-in masks go, it was a good leave-in mask. The one thing about it was the functionality of the spray bottle. It sprayed really wide. So you want to hold it really close to your hair, otherwise you end up losing a lot of product to the sides. That was the only thing. Um, okay, <clears throat> this I have. I have, I just gave one of them away in a giveaway. It is a good hair oil. It is very runny, which uh, is fine. I like a, a thicker hair oil. Um, that's the only thing I have to say that I kind of prefer prefer were different, but it's a good hair oil. I actually just used it this morning. Um, okay, people say that this is a really nice dry shampoo. I haven't used it. Oh, the R & Co. These, both of these things, two people have said on the forum that they were, they've been unimpressed by all R & Co. products. That's all I really have to say. I remember researching this one pretty closely in the last sale and I remember deciding that it seems like it would be better for thinner straighter hair than mine which I I have I said earlier that I think that they are better for straighter silkier hair not uh, thick curly hair like mine speaking of thick curly hair I don't need volumizing shampoo and conditioner so I don't know much about this and I haven't seen anybody really swearing by it or reviewing it here Aki, Aquis, however you say it, if you are thinking about getting this, go, I say go for it. I prefer the towel over the turban. Most people prefer the turban over the towel. I have two in my cart just because I love them. I don't know if I'm going to get them and hang on to them as gifts. We will see. These, I had never heard of these before, but apparently they were one of, like, an Instagram uh, sensation a couple of years ago and I ended up going online and of course Jeffree Star had a swatching video so I watched his first but then I watched a few swatching videos and you can actually find these colors swatched on YouTube so definitely if you're considering this go and take a look and I thought that they were absolutely gorgeous colors I love lip colors I'm really excited about this I cannot wait I'm going to get this for sure um, yeah so I'm very excited about those. Somebody in my live pointed that them out, and I'm sorry, I don't remember offhand who it was, but thank you. Somebody on the forum said that this is a horrible product. Don't get it. That was the only thing that I saw <laughs> about this one. So I went ahead and I just dumped it from my cart. Um, people are really, really excited about this. Uh, <clears throat> Look up reviews. I remember some people saying that they found some disappointing reviews. So definitely do a little bit of research before you dive into getting this. Um, I did have one of these before and I never used it because I don't like powders. Uh, my mother bought it for me as a gift. But uh, definitely look at the reviews. I, I know I saw somebody post that they were disappointed about something that they discovered on this. I wish I remembered exactly what it was. I'm sorry that I don't right now. Um, Another nail strengthener that I have heard worked wonders. That's the thing. I've heard that the Dermalect, pro Dermalect products work wonders, just like I said about the neck thing. 
but they are just they put whatever the ingredients they want into their products okay so this is what I saw okay this people were disappointed by this product uh, in past sales and I think that's because it's called a plumping lip balm for some reason and it doesn't actually plump so if you're looking for it and you're eyeing it because of that uh, don't expect it to plump much um, but I did hear that the color was pretty I this is another shiny thing I am attracted to the shiny things in this sale and I am considering getting this people were saying amazing things about it I'm not sure I don't like wearing foundations and powders but I just am so attracted to the idea of the shimmer so I might I might get that um, okay I don't I did, haven't heard anything about these things Touch and Soul, that's another one. Oh, Lorac Pro. Uh, there are some YouTube uh, swatching videos of this, uh, and it looks like a really, really pretty color. Um, there, There's absolutely no description on this. That's interesting. I, uh, <clears throat> The person, the one review on it I did, she did say a little that there was a little bit of patchiness in the wear, so I might not end up getting it. People have said that these are awful, the silicon, silicon makeup uh, drops, so... Yeah, I, I'm, yeah, I'm not gonna get it. Uh, some people said that this is a horrible knockoff of the roller that Tati uses. <laughs> I talk about Tati a lot. I love her. Um, anyway, oh, and then the Sutra blow dryer. I heard that there are some uh really awful. Somebody finally found reviews for them, I believe, on Yelp. Uh, which is kind of interesting. I've never seen product reviews on Yelp, but that was what somebody said on the forum. So there. There are no reviews of the these Sutra products that anyone seems to be able to find online other than that Yelp one that I mentioned. So this is definitely buy at your own risk. Check out Yelp, see if you can find those, see if I'm wrong. Uh, but I definitely wouldn't buy something like this if you cannot find reviews on it. People are, yeah, anyway, okay, that's that's enough about that. I don't know, don't know. I don't know how sturdy these clips are. You know, you could get them and then they just break right away. Who knows? Um, oh, somebody in the forum sent a picture of her wearing these and they look so cute. Uh, but, oh, what did she say? She said that they didn't uh, protect from the sun as well as she wished. Um, here's another. I, would, I'm, I have a phrase. <laughs> I favorited this. <clears throat> because, again, it's kind of nice to be able to pack a, an extra bag when you go somewhere. Um, I am not, I'm not so much interested in accessories. Again, jewelry I don't find to be very high quality. Here's, oh, poopery. So people, people love poopery. Say, I, I've seen people say really good things about it if you use it correctly. Here, people were saying you might as well just get uh, reliable electric toothbrush from Costco or something and don't gamble with this. Um, people say that this works nicely like fix vapor, vapor rub. Uh, this people say works really well. It's the Arnica in it. That's the ingredient that you really want to look for in these topical pain relief ointments. Um, oh, <clears throat> fascia blaster. There's a whole lot of weirdness around the fascia blaster that it's a scam and that people in mass, a lot of people are suing or are trying to sue the woman who came up with them. It caused them bruising, sagging skin, worse cellulite. Uh, look up a fascia blaster scam. Actually, let's do that right now. Okay, so where is that? Here, there's a BuzzFeed article with some pictures. So here, here's some pictures. I mean, these people must have just been going to town rubbing this into their legs. Look at her. She has such beautiful legs. Why would she even want to use a fascia blaster to get rid of cellulite? Anyway, so... um. People are just, oh gosh. Oh, and, and one doctor claimed it appeared to be based on uh, loose science. Uh, anyway, so read up about the fascia blaster scam and, and people are after this woman who created it. Yeah, here. 
uh, reports of severe bruising, weight gain, sagging skin, increased cellulite, nausea, and menstrual changes. Yeah, so anyway, that's the fascia blaster. I'm not interested in that. Uh, I don't know. Oh, here, people, I saw a couple of comments that this was really, really excellent. I thought about trying to get it for my husband, but again, has lavender. My husband does not do lavender, so I'm not going to be getting that. Oh, <clears throat> People are staying away from the luggage. There was also a pricing discrepancy on FabFitFun versus Biagi's, I don't know how to say that, uh, website that it was $59 on their website earlier. So check their website. I, I do also know that some people, some custom FabFitFun customers made some phone calls to Biagi and then the price went up on their site. It was really weird and shady. <laughs> but anyway, their companies, companies aren't perfect, people aren't perfect, but so check the Biagi website, see how much they cost there. I also have heard that it was recommended by other FabFitFun members to just stay away from the luggage, and I agree, I kind of stay away from a lot of that stuff that you can just find maybe at Costco or uh, from, from somewhere where you can find more reliable reviews. <clears throat> I uh, don't know anything about these things. This is Darling. A lot of people are really excited about this little bee jar right here. It's cute. Um, I don't know anything about these. Oh, uh, so some people were saying that these plastic cutting bar boards are really hard on knives, which I didn't know that, but many people said that. So that was a, a good little piece of information that I didn't know about plastic cutting boards. I, oh, here's the poopery. People love poopery. I've seen poopery at Costco. Um, the rugs. Some people say, oh, some people said, one person, some, sorry, I have a stutter suddenly. I've been talking for a while. One person was saying, stay away from the rugs and the lamps. And I am at the end of the screen. That is all I have to say. That is all that my, my voice will allow me to do. Think about subscribing, like, comment. Let's start a conversation. There are still a few days left in the sale. So I hope you get what you are hoping to get. And thank you for joining me. I really hope this was helpful. And I will talk to you guys later. Love you all. Bye.